Um, the students were allocated a refugee family. Their profiles are right in the middle there. Oh. And they are real refugee families. Ah. So they're with legitimate needs, real life family, real life stories. And they were allocated a family and they had a choice of, I think, eight places to choose from that they had to pick they thought was best suited to that family and their needs. So they had to consider that family circumstances. Oh, right. Exactly, the age of the children, one family has a child with a disability, etc. Some came from a war-torn country, so they wanted that safety and stability. So to start us off, the first question was all about telling us what your location was in Australia, who the family was, and why it's a suitable place for them. Does anyone want to start us off? Yeah. Yeah, go for it, Tom. Thank uh, you. So, uh, my family is the Hamid family. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to relocate them in Rockhampton. Um, uh, there are many reasons why, such as the climate is one of them. So it's not always hot, it's all, not always cold. So um, they can... So there's not things like droughts and stuff mm -hmm. like that, so it's suitable for them. But it's also good when it rains because it, it like um, helps everything grow and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, another factor is the um, healthcare and education. Mm -hmm. Since they have a disabled um, daughter, oh, okay. the, there are many education systems such as schools that allow her to have the access to things that she needs. Mm -hmm. Such as like education, and also there's hospitals for for her to go and get the stuff that she needs. Mm -hmm. Bouncing off the environment and uh, the climate and stuff like that, we've got the Hamid family as well. We chose Broken Hill. Um, uh, part of part of the reason we chose Broken Hill was because um, it's more on the warmer side of Australia, um, and they're from uh, Arabia, Iraq, Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. yeah. But it's a pretty warm climate there as well, so it's not much of a um, big transition from the climate. And because they're from Iraq, they're obviously of different culture. Mm -hmm. New South Wales is known for being very multicultural compared to a lot of the other states in Australia. I think that's why we chose New South Wales. And what James said about like the climate, so it's known to be very hot and dry in Iraq, and we thought that from like generations of them living there and moving here, they can help the government or like just the community with what they've learned in Iraq and help sustain just like Broken Hill. Awesome. So it's not just the Australia and the, the place providing comfort and liberty for them, they have something to give back to the government. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. And again, with the Hamid family, because they are coming from Iraq, they still want to kind of keep their culture where they live. So in Cairns, which is the place that I chose, um, there's lots of multicultural groups that they can attend in order to kind of like keep their religion and keep their culture so that they still feel like they're part of their hometown, but in some way more comfortable for them to live. So. And I just want to say something. Um, well, due to the dry area of Broken Hill and they're much drier, for example, like Sydney, they've gotten used to like not having as much water flow and they have systems for that. Um, so it's one less thing the Hamid have, family has to like, stress about. So it, it's one thing off their plates, especially migrating from a new country, not knowing what mm. everything is. So it's just less stress. Mm. Awesome. The family that our group was allocated was the Vajvadov's family, and they originally came from Afghanistan or, yeah, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Well, the place that we chose to relocate them was Bunbury, which is a com like a small community, so they'll be very welcome. And it is has good temperature, like an average temperature. It's um, hot and cold in the right um, seasons it should be. And it is very comfortable for uh, livability for the family. And there's really, um, a lot of educational resources and um, attractions that, such as like the Dolphin um, Centre and schools and um, various kinds of places. Uh, the healthcare is good too, it's basing off the... Oh, the Bunbury is the Western Australia. Yeah, Western Australia. Um, basing off the population pyramid is very average um, through all, throughout the ages and even has a good life expectancy for the elderly over 85 and over. So meaning that they have good health care within Bunbury. Yeah. So. Right there. Right there. And that's one of the geographical tools that the students learned how to create. As yeah. well as in maths, they focus on some of those graphing skills. Mm -hmm. And then Jaden and Vol there to interpret that data and mm -hmm. apply it to their livability. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jane, good, good. Stuff. 
Um, I also have the same family as Jaden and Bud and Sam. My group decided to relocate them to Ketuba. And this is because Ketuba is a small and inviting community which offers the basic necessities refugee family needs. Um, so as an example, the fact is I could contribute to this is that Ketuba has a similar environment to Afghanistan, meaning that the family can adjust to this easily. Along with this, um, there's different clubs and activities which encourages the family to feel safe and included. Um, as an example, there's an RSL club, um, soccer teams that the um, adults and children can join, so they can make new friendships and build their social connectedness. Um, and just overall, there's a safe environment with access to food, water, so water, education, and health.